So last one. Last one. A little slightly harder than the other two. It takes a little more conversion for this one, but it's still basically the same thing. With dimensional analysis, what it all comes down to, this, like I said, it's pretty much foolproof. I'm sorry, fool resistant. All right. So you're <laughs> you're eliminating the things that you don't need. You're keeping the things that you do need for your for your answer. All right. Now, with all the questions that we're going to have, now these are harder type questions. We're all going to start out once again with the magic line from one end of the paper all the way to the other end. All right. Let's take a look at the question. Dopamine 400 and 250. P5. Patient weighs 155 pounds. IV pump, IV pump is set for two, 200 mLs an hour. Ultimately, 20. what are they? I'm sorry, 20 mLs an hour. They're ultimately asking how many mics per kilogram per minute is the patient receiving? So, on this end right here, we're going to go ahead and put mics per kilogram times minute. Okay, I'll explain in another video why it's written like this, but for now, for the sake of this, this class, this is, this is how we're going to write it. Alright, so we got what we ultimately want, mics per kilogram per minute. Let's start plugging in some of our factors right here. Um, Alright, dopamine, 400 milligrams <coughs> and 250 D5. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that in. 400 milligrams and 250 mLs. All right. Uh, next piece of information: patient weighs 150. All right. We're, let's say. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and skip that for now. Let's concentrate on this part right here. Patient IV pump is set for 20 mL an hour. All right. Now the reason why I put 20 over uh, 20 mL over over an hour. We know we're going to cancel out mLs. mLs is not something that we need in our ultimate answer. So mLs, we already know for a fact that mLs is on the bottom over here. We're going to cancel out on the top. All right, so we got that piece of information. We got these, these pieces of information right here. Lastly, 155 pounds. All right, so that's going to go on the... Kilogram, kilogram over 2.2 pounds. So, oh, let's go on top. so this is, I'm sorry, yeah. So kilo, I'm sorry, patient already weighs 155 pounds. We're going we're gonna to ultimately convert that. Let's go ahead and put that right over here, 155 pounds. So keeping in mind that... No, it's wrong. I'm sorry, I have it backwards. And here, you know, this is a good point because now I'm going to show you why this is wrong. All right? Here's why. Now... We know, let's go ahead and circle the things that we already have. Do we have micrograms? No. Do we have kilograms in minutes? No. We don't have any of that. All right? So, we know kilograms is going to be on the bottom. One kilogram is equal to how many pounds? 2.2 pounds. Now, this is why 155 does not go up here. You have two numbers, or two factors right here, two pounds, pretty much, on both above the line, you have to be able to cancel one of these out. All right. So in this case, you cannot cancel both of them on, uh, which are both above the line. You have to make sure one of them is below the line in order to cancel out something from above and below. So in this case, this is wrong. 155 pounds is not going to go on the top. It's going to go on the bottom. Oops. 155 pounds. Great. Now, you see what I mean here? Now, we can go ahead and start canceling out some things. We can cancel out pounds from the bottom, cancel out from the top. All right, anything else we can cancel out? Oh, mLs. mLs from the bottom, mLs from the top. Okay, well, we got kilograms. What else do we need? All right, we got kilograms. We need minutes, and we also need micrograms. Those are the other two factors that we need. So, we're going to go ahead and convert those. We know micrograms is going to be on the top because our ultimate answer, micrograms, is on the top. 1,000 micrograms in one milligram. Well, great, because now you have milligrams on the bottom, you have milligrams on the top. Cancel those out. All right? You have micrograms, because that's what you need right there. And the last piece of information, well, we have hours. We have to convert that as well. So we need minutes. We need minutes. So let's go ahead and put minutes right here. 60 minutes in one hour. 
Excellent. Now more things that we can cancel out. Hours and hours. So all we're left, once again, is a whole bunch of numbers with the two, with the, with, with, uh, with the three factors that we need. Micrograms, kilograms, and minutes. All right? So let's go ahead and do the math. 400, so type this in your, in your calculator or your Palm Pilot or your computer, wherever. 400 times 20 times 2.2 times 1,000 divided by 250 divided by 155 divided by 60 equals 7.6 7.6 micrograms per kilogram per minute. So patient will be receiving 7.6 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Once again, double check it, do, this, do the math once again the same way and you should get the same exact answer, 7.5.